Well, every child deserves to have that Norman Rockwell moment on Christmas morning, running down to see what surprises lie inside those festive holiday boxes. But for kids in the care of Franklin County Children's Services, they may think that that moment isn't theirs to have. Well, that's where you can help make their holiday wishes come true. I'm happy today to be joined by Elizabeth Crabtree from FCCS, along with Lisa Peterson with e-commerce. Good to see you, ladies. It's Hello. wonderful to be here. All right, Elizabeth, let's talk about the program. You're the yes. holiday wish director. So this time of year, you have a very special task. Tell I us do. About. Well, this program ensures that every child that's involved with Franklin County Children's Services gets a gift for their special holiday. Last year, we served over 6,000 children, and these are kids that are either with their biological parents, and we have an open case on them because we're helping to address whatever concerns are in the home. They might be in foster homes with kinship caregivers, residential treatment facilities, or group homes. And for some of our kids, they will not receive a gift except for through this program. So this can be, I mean, life-changing kind of for these kids. It gives them, yes. you know, a lot of feelings they may not have on a daily basis. Absolutely. And one of the best parts of my job is every now and again we have a donor come in and when I ask them why they donate, they say, I got a gift through the program when I was a child. And they remember. People talk about being six years old and coming downstairs and getting the first holiday gift they've ever gotten in their life through Holiday Wish and how much that impacted them. It's full circle. That's really cool Absolutely. to see. All right, so how can the community step up? What can they still do? We still need emergency gifts for our kids, and we also need donations. So kids 11 and under get toys, and kids 12 and older get a gift card either from Walmart or Target. So we raise money and we buy those in bulk. Um, so either people can donate money or they can bring us a new unwrapped toy. What's the best way to do that? They can call us at 614-275-2525 if they need more information. They also can just bring them down to our office at 855 West Mound Street. Okay, this is the thing. Lisa, your group, e-commerce, yeah. has stepped up in a way that Elizabeth was just telling me has never been done in the 50 plus years you've been doing this program. First of all, how was it to hear we're going to take on, and tell me how many kids are taking on. What? They took on 338 wish lists. And let me explain what this means. This means not only are they buying gifts for 338 kids, they're buying specific toys these kids have requested. <laughs> and sometimes these are toys that are like sold out, or you have to run around you looking got, like, for them. I you like like crazy on those lists. Those <laughs> things are like going like, wow. No. <laughs> <laughs> So 338 wish lists you're taking on. Yeah. Tell me about how you guys got involved and why you're doing this. You know, uh, e-commerce started with the Holiday Wish program five years ago, and it became um, our small company's uh, thing. You know, we, we raise money through different events and different types of activities all year. And at the end of the year, it's always uh, a, a big challenge to see if we can beat the number of children that we were able to sponsor the year before. And so far, every year we have. So we're very excited about it. And yeah. I love that. I asked you, I said, well, do you have 338 employees? Is that how this is working? No. No, we have 40. We have 40, 40 employees. employees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what is the process like? You guys get all the gifts. I mean, do you wrap them up and everything? How does it oh, all yeah. work? Well, our uh, Judy, who is the, the staff member that is the committee chair, she has to order all of the individual items, which over over 800 this year for oh, those children. That's great. Uh, and then we have a whole system. We have a big room and it looks like Santa's workshop with wrapping stations and labeling and tape and batteries and the whole bit. So. Oh my God, that's so yeah. cool. Elizabeth, let's talk about maybe some of the ages that you still need specific help for. Because I know some kids are harder to buy for, right? In any situation, yeah. <laughs> right? We always run short on gifts for kids under the age of three. So um, people don't always think babies need toys. A lot of our kids are in homes with no toys at all. So it's really important for them just for their motor skills and their development. So we always need baby toys. And then the older kids, you know, nine and above is a group that we struggle with. And we want, want Lego sets for those. Some of the larger dolls, action figures, things that, uh, you know, a 10 and 11 year old might want to play with. Okay, and monetary donations, as we mentioned, that goes a long way to help. Yes. And you can also use volunteers for this whole thing, right? We can, although I will say that we're almost at capacity for volunteers. This has been a crazy year. We have seen the community show up in a way that I've not seen it in the six years I've run the program. We've also had a ton of volunteers step up. We still need them for the weekend. Um, so okay. if they want to volunteer, they can give us a call, 614-275-2525, if I get that number right, um, and ask about volunteering. We also have volunteer positions all year round. If people ever want to volunteer with us or work with our kids. Sure. Okay. So it is a great program. We want people to help out. Again, that phone number is on screen. There's also an email, holidaywish at fccs.us, that you can feel free to send an email to. It is a great program. Lisa, thank you so much for what you're doing. It's so awesome to see. I'm just proud of my team. They All really right. did it. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for being here. Thank Thanks. you.